Welcome back everybody and from this tutorial onwards I will be teaching you how to fetch weather data of any city around the globe any part or any place ok so let's start so what we'll be actually needing is a place where would be first a place from where we can fetch the data uh, or maybe a place to input where we'll update the name of the city of the data we want and then we'll need a slider to adjust, adjust the number of days we want the data of so first we'll start out by putting in a input for the inputting of the city name so i'll just quickly type in here input and give this like is iron input okay and then we'll qu quickly write here bind value because th we want this value to be binded and give it here like city name ok so now we have given this and we'll just output this and first we'll have to put this inside another tags ok with no spaces at all and we'll give this a name city name ok so now this will be updated as soon as this uh, uh, as we type anything in here and I'll just give in here a line break ok so now this part is actually complete ok so we'll just go into the browser and first check everything is, is working ok so everything is working fine and now we'll have to actually write in some javascript code to fetch data from the whatever has been put inside this input element out here and then update that update the city name according to that so we'll just put a button out here so first i'll put in a button which will respond to an on click event and call the javascript function out here to fetch that to fetch the input whatever has been put into the input element and in case you don't know how to do that i think i have taught this in tutorial number 36 or 37 i don't know but you can definitely check this check that tutorial out and it will obviously be very helpful to you and once you have done that you can easily come back here and continue on so i'll just put in the put in something out here i'll search for city i'll just put in city name just put in here search okay. so i'll refresh to see what happens I'll just type in here something okay so we can see this that this thing is working now okay and now we have to write this javascript function and one thing more I'll li like to do is that before moving on I'll just put in give this thing a little bit of styling so I'll put in here a paper input instead of just default input and I'll just put in the button as a paper button okay just remove the extra button part out here and this is give this a class of like my paper button okay so if you give this a so without the class i'll first show you how this looks and let this refresh okay so you can see the, that we have this awesome looking input search bar with this material design and all that stuff but this button kind of looks weird it is present there but it has a white background so in case you want to style the button to some other color such as red or blue or anything like that you will first have to give this paper button a class and maybe most of you would be knowing this but in case there, there are beginners and who don't know all this I will just explain it once so I've given here a class of my paper button and okay. so I'll just remove this part and the class of only my button and out here I have defined in the CSS properties the my my button with a background color color of dodger blue and the color white so background as you can understand would be background of the button and the color white would actually be the text where would be displayed in white so let's refresh and see okay. so I just 
there was a typo small okay okay so we have this button awesome looking button with material effects already baked in and if you just want to change the color you may just want it something like a red or an orange so maybe if you want red just put in any kind of red maybe this one looks better okay. we'll just try okay this one's kind of too dark okay so now i'll just let that be to dodger blue because i like that color and so in the next tutorial we will come back and write the javascript code quickly to complete to complete the uh, whether uh, to complete the city name fetching part so so definitely stay tuned for the next tutorial and please uh, keep subscribing and liking these videos and thank you bye